reaching the level of type 7, or even attaining the status of type 6, can be considered an unachievable milestone for human civilization. Most people believe this when they do not know their own position on the type 0 to type 7 scale that measures advanced civilization. So, let's go back to 1964, when Soviet astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev attempted to classify advanced civilizations. At that time, he created three categories, type 1, type 2, and type 3 civilizations. The reason for focusing mainly on this scale was to determine how much energy an advanced civilization controls and utilizes. In this scale, he placed humans in type 0. The reason he said that it would take us nearly at least 9,000 years to reach type 3 status is because he was considering how much time it would take for humans to control and utilize energy on such a scale. Now, hearing about this timeline, people like you and me might get demotivated, as it seems like such a distant goal. Kardashev placed us in Type 0, emphasizing that reaching Type 3 would take around 9,000 years. As we hear about this timeline, people like you and me might get demotivated, as it seems like such a distant goal. This is because it has become a situation where a civilization is still learning to walk, and the goal of building a nuclear reactor has already emerged. But for some astrophysicists, this was not insignificant. They added Type 4, Type 5, Type 6, and Type 7 civilizations to the Kardashev scale. In short, our imagination has far surpassed the finish line. Because we are even farther from Type 1 milestones, just look around at these advanced gadgets. When Carl Sagan sent our golden record in Voyager 1, he classified our civilization based on our energy efficiency, giving us a rating of 0.7. This means we haven't even become a Type 1 civilization yet. And guess what? From then until now, where have we reached? Well, 0.7, right? The reason behind this is that the card is not on a linear scale that steadily grows, in simple terms, it multiplies. If I want to reach from today's 0.72 to 0.73, we'll need to produce 26% more energy. And that's as much energy as a new nuclear power plant produces, even after five years of construction. If we advance from space, according to the most recent estimates, our dream of becoming a Type 1 civilization will be fulfilled by the year 2371. We'll have to navigate two centuries. You know, without any global warming or natural climate triggers like a great filter accelerating this entire advancement process. Surviving for the next 100 to 200 years is more difficult than reaching the status of a Type 1 civilization. During this time, if we receive triggers at the right time, maybe we'll achieve the medal of a Type 7 civilization. It's not me, but our ancestors are saying this. In 2017, in the BBC science series Tomorrow's World, Professor Stephen Hawking warned us that Earth's environment is deteriorating rapidly and within the next 80 or 90 years, we'll need to discover habitable planets in more than 100 years. Now, can our ordinary fossil fuels be an ideal source of energy for these long-distance interplanetary missions? Obviously not. Therefore, gradually, over time, humans are realizing that instead of fossil fuels, we need to shift to more efficient technologies like nuclear fusion for energy needs. Once we master the technology, that would be a breakthrough. If this happens quickly, as it seems to be happening now, we may achieve the status of a Type 1 civilization before the expected time, because nuclear fusion means the same reaction that keeps stars alive and powerful. Once we master nuclear fusion, we'll extract energy directly from the sun using a Dyson sphere. After this milestone, we'll have learned to travel at the speed of light. We'll be officially called a Type 2 civilization. This much energy will also help us colonize distant solar systems, and to meet the increasing energy demand of those colonized systems, we'll need to cover the stars of all those solar systems with Dyson spheres. By then, we'll have learned an important lesson. At this stage, we'll realize that light and our bodies have certain limitations, and there are countless habitable planets in this galaxy so far away that even with light speed, 
our bodies cannot reach them within our lifetime. What will follow is that we, like cyborgs, will transform into a Type 3 civilization by upgrading our bodies. Instantly using lightspeed engines, our major taxi service will be in the universe with countless wormholes. What if we can create these wormholes ourselves according to our convenience? Using a massive amount of energy, which will extend us into the Kardashev scale, we'll become a Type 4 civilization. When we are at the Type 3 stage, we'll realize that every day in this universe, supernova explosions occur, releasing immense energy, which can give us the capability to create our own wormholes. This means that by understanding our 3D universe more deeply, with the help of advanced genetic engineering, we'll start creating Type 0 organisms in all the countless galaxies of the universe, just to study them and do experiments on them in labs. What if, presently, we are also subjects in the laboratories of an advanced civilization? Well, I don't know, but at that time, such questions won't have any meaning. After mastering our 3D universe, we naturally intend to experiment with our knowledge in other parallel universes. This could lead to the creation of a Type 5 civilization where control extends over the entire 3D reality, including the multiverse. Our advancements will not be limited to the multiverse. Understanding the complete 3D universe may open doors to higher dimensions for us. Whether creating a new universe or altering an existing one, these tasks will become trivial for us with just a snap. However, caution is necessary, as becoming a Type 6 civilization entails penetrating high dimensions, risking the destruction of our 3D bodies. We might transform into a sort of eternal being without a physical body, existing at a level where there is no further goal for us. You might be thinking that achieving Type 7 is still pending, but any advanced civilization can only reach up to Type 6. Beyond that, the reason lies in the dimensions of universes and natural laws which are integrated within a Type 7 civilization. Some astrophysicists believe that a Type 7 civilization might not be a civilization at all, but a singular being that encompasses all individuals from Type 0 to Type 6. In that case, calling them gods would be logical. In conclusion, individuals from Type 4 to Type 6, considering their abilities, could be regarded as gods by Type 0 civilizations. Those from Type 0 civilizations may indeed start considering them at a godlike level. The Kardashev scale is not just a classification system, it's a glimpse into the potential futures of intelligent civilizations. As we contemplate the possibilities that lie ahead for humanity, the scale offers a roadmap for our evolution from a Type 0 civilization to a cosmic entity capable of shaping the destiny of the universe. Join us in this exploration of civilization types 0 to 7, and let your imagination soar to the cosmic heights that await us in the future. But for now, stay connected with the Viral Vibes family by subscribing to learn about all the mysterious facts in the universe.